trying to mind my business. I never understood mixing time with business. I rhyme with swiftness and run with quickness. Try to figure out what a nigga's gift is. For all I know, I could be good at this. And if not, I'll work at it until my shit pops like a soda can on a summer day. But ain't no summer games. I ain't come to play.
you have to hold the sword. Oh, First is your right hand goes at the top. Oh. And there's a little bit of space between your hand and the sword. And your left hand goes below. And grip it lightly with both hands. You bring the sword down so the base is just about at your belly button. And the tip of the sword is at your chest height. And put your right foot in front. And bend your knees slightly. So next we're going to uh, do the footwork. From your back foot, so take one step with your back foot, and then one more step. Okay. Left foot, right. And remember that there will be a count of two. So we're going to do it together. Uh, I will give you a signal. I will say height, and that will uh, mean it's your turn. Excellent. Very nice. So next we're going to add in the uh, sword movements. <laughs> when you take your first step, you want to lift the sword up at the same time, so it's over your head. Lift from your shoulders, so you're kind of looking through your elbows. Then when you take your second step, you bring the sword down, so it comes down slightly from the right side to your left hip. Let's do it one more time. Remember to keep your knees bent. So now we're going to do the same movement, but try to do it faster. So the trick to going fast is to really keep your shoulders and arms relaxed. So if you use a lot of strength, you can go very fast, but it also is very difficult to stop. So what you want to do is just kind of push off from the top with strength here and then let gravity and the weight of the sword pull it through the cut. So you want to hear the kind of boom sound as it goes through the air. Very good. Excellent. Be careful that you're not leaning forward when you cut. Keep your back straight. Feels great. Let's try again. Very good. So let's try one more time. Perfect. Excellent. So please wait. We're going to bring the targets in front of you. Oh, shit. It's a real deal. <laughs> it's the real deal. All right. So this is still a practice. Don't uh, cut it all the way. Uh, we want you to do your swing and then stop before you hit it, just like in the movies so that we can evaluate the angle and your distance. So again, you can do it slowly at your own pace, whenever you're ready. Both of you are doing very nice. Uh, so maybe just a little bit higher. There you go. And move a little bit closer. There you go. You want to be cutting with that middle part of the sword. Let's try again. So remember, your se steps uh, start with the left foot. Left, then right. Just like that. Very good. All right, are you ready for real thing? 
Okay. We'll go, we're gonna go one at a time. <laughs> one at a time, we'll start with you first. Okay. We'll give you a signal. Beautiful day in Kyoto. I really got to take my my Japanese studies really serious now, because everybody keeps telling me how great my pronunciation is, and they're like asking me like, how did I learn Japanese? And I'm like, little do y'all know, I only know a few phrases because I have not been on my Pimsleur like I was supposed to be. But that was a really fun samurai experience, ten out of ten all across the board learned a whole lot experienced a whole lot thought i seen the castle off in the distance but i don't but it was really fun really fun and i met another brother while i was out here he was from the bay area so when i go to tokyo he should be in tokyo and we'll see uh how our schedules align i don't really have much plan he was talking about going out i was like ah. but might go out and see what's going on in the nightlife in Tokyo. So we'll see what it do. <laughs> 